you know, I am very happy, very, very happy that once again justice has prevailed. You know, <clears throat> I am the choice of the people of this state. Uh, I proved that at the election uh, some months ago. ago. Now I've proved it at this highly esteemed court of appeal. Yes. <laughs> Their petition has been declared baseless. So I remain the authentic winner of the election. I am the elected governor of Amali State. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, um, uh, now that the distraction is over, we will start dishing out the day to get the democracy to our people. That is what we will do. <laughs> Everybody is our people, so we will treat them right. <laughs> Thank you very much. I will see you. Thank you very much. Calm down, boss. Calm down. You give yourself a heart attack. No! No! I can't calm down! I can't! Because the election was rigged. If the court of appeal denies me this date, I will take it my own way. Your own way, boss? What do you mean your own way? I've tried my best to get what belongs to me through the legal process. But since the judiciary has failed me, I will take what belongs to me. Our state belongs to me. I am the winner of that gubernatorial election. Boss, I understand what you feel. But if you listen to me, boss, you better let it go. Since your petition was annulled by both the tribunal and the federal courts of appeal, I suggest we start. We go back to the drawing board and start planning for our next campaign. Come next four years. Never, never. I will make you pay for a full day for a ten day. I will make sure that city hot, and I will make sure he resigns from that seat. No one can run the last to me. Oh my God! Oh my God! Yes, boss. I want to go to war. War? Who are we fighting this time, boss? I want to go to war against the state. Abali state. A war against the state? Hmm? Yes, you have. Chief, that is no child's play kind of war. citizen, number one citizen of the state. I can as well spend double the amount to wreck this government in order to get what belongs to me. What is your plan precisely? That is why I call you to tell you my intention. Go and draft a plan. Mine is to sponsor the plan. And yours is to give the plan. Our targets.
<laughs> hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Mr. Jang, strongman Fimba, Fimba of the Most High. Mr. Jang, the <laughs> badass. <laughs> go, go, go. Look at you, man. You look good. If I look good like this, coming from an exile, what am I going to say about you, bro? No, no. no. <laughs> you look good. All right, forget that stuff, bro. <laughs> Fimba, oh, you know, you know. You know. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I need to fresh it up. My journey was really bumpy, you know. I know, I know. Mm. Huh? You're going to be staying in this hotel. Okay. He will take care of everything. Okay. All right. I guess his bags are in the room. Hmm? Okay. So take him upstairs, right? All right. Yeah. Fimba of the most. Mr. Jango. <laughs> <laughs> and I really missed you, bro. All right. Welcome, welcome back, bro. We'll be back in a jiffy, yeah? We'll be waiting for All you. All right. Thank you.
<laughs> Mr. Django. Yeah, man. <laughs> good, 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 good. Give me an ashtray, bro. Abali State is our state. I enjoy you all to join us with me to make this state a great one. Gone are those days when our children live and school abroad because of poor educational system, lack of security, epileptic power supply. These days, our children... I don't want to speak to anybody now. But it's like there's a situation, she's sounding tensed up. She can handle the situation there. Tell her I will speak to her tomorrow morning. But... Okay, boss. We are brought to school because we have a school that provides quality education. Security is of international standard. And power supply will be 24 hours. As a good example, I am bringing my children home from abroad to school at Bali State International School. I've also mandated my commissioners and all the prominent citizens of this state to do the same. He is our target. He on the state. Uh, he represents the state. I'll see. By the way, sorry about the loss of your identical twin brother. It's all in the past now. No. I thought you were going to be at his burial. Hmm. At the last place you should have expected me to be. Everybody was there to take a hold of fever. But I knew better. I couldn't be that stupid. <laughs> Member of the most high, Mr. Django. <laughs> Always very smart. Mm. You can say that again. Always very smart. Say it again, bro. <laughs> uh, I heard he was more than Barry Rico. You know, that guy has proved himself to be. The hardest man in this building. Really? He was responsible for the death of Kado, Chiga, Minchi, and your twin brother. Where is he now? The cloth of the states. The cloth of the states. <laughs> there we are, planning a war against the states. But an iron. Django, yes, I don't know what you are planning. I think this is the right time to strike because he, Ochendo, shall be celebrating his 100 days in office with the opening of Abali International School Complex. Through the night, I want, I want him to be ruined. I want the day to be ruined for him. Shoot everywhere, kill as many as possible. My boss, I don't uh, think that is really what you want. Django! Yes, boss. I know what I want. I want to make this dead on top of for him. Yes, boss, but there are better ways we can do this. Like what? 
Give us some time, boss. Just give us some time. We're cooking something. You had better cook fast. You had better cook it fast. Every time I see that man on TV in my position, I feel like committing suicide. Calm down, boss. I know how you feel. We will make him pay dearly for this. We will. Calm down, boss. Yeah, this is our target. We hit here, we surround here. Our boys on the lorry are right here. We we'll bring their security camera here. And here, we drive the hostages into the lorry and then drive them all the way to this place where we have our radio signals mounted for communication. And then where we're still here, we have security cameras all over the place. Our boys are on the alert. Any movement shows up on our screen, we'll take care of it immediately. And we shall be taking down the hostages one by one until the governor gives into our demand. I like this. I like this video. But hold on. Government is not going to fold its arms and watch us do this. There are going to be counterattacks. First of all, it's going to take them days of fruitless effort to find where we are. Secondly, we have cameras covering all over the camp. No one, not even an ant, can successfully break into that camp without being spotted. You see? Fimba of the Most High. Mr. Django. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've always counted on you. For the tightest plan, you know what I mean, bro. You know what I mean, bro. Give it up, boy. Mm. We are rich. You can say that again, man. We made one. Really made. I like this. I like Thank this. you. Counting on me. I like this. This is our target, chief. Mm around here. Mm -hmm. Now, we worked it out in a way that in case we have any intervention from State House here, mm -hmm. we're doing a detour. Mm -hmm. So when they think we're going this way, we're hitting the highway. Okay. The hill here. okay. So with the camp set up here, mm -hmm. nobody can look at us. Wow, 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 wow. That is great. That is great. I love this. <laughs> Damn you. I, I love this. <laughs> Boss, I told you when Yes, yes, yes. This yes. is a watertight plan. Okay, good, 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 good. good. Uh, what will it take you to execute this plan? Um, Chief, yes. you just give us a little time. We're working out the logistics. Okay. Please, please, no. Django, I don't want you to waste time. You should be fast. Please. No, I want this stage to suffer. Eh? I want you to go to <laughs> bed. <laughs> no <problem>. eh? <laughs> Okay, yes. I'll mm. get back to you as soon as we can. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> man. I'm my name, I'm my name, Guru. You see? The first step is to recruit and train our boys. About how many boys are you looking at now? We can get started with 20. If need be, we'll increase the number. Okay. 
where you think the gun set up. La Vista Forests. Fimba of the Most High. Mr. Django. Always very smart. I'll say that again. <laughs> Is it there? No, no signal yet. Why oh, it is supposed to be there? Okay, okay. You got it? Yeah, I got you now. Oh, no. Yeah, okay, good. You got it, huh? Yes, 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 yes. All right, I'm coming down.
How many cameras do we have here? Sixteen cameras come from the whole place. No, this is clear. This is more like that. That's right, that's right. Bing bang, the most high. Mr. Jack, go. <laughs> Yeah. We have everything in place. So, in two days, we we'll hit hard. That is great. I am very happy to hear this. Uh, remember, please, Django, don't hesitate to ask for any assistance hmm? from me. Okay. No problem, Chief. Jam. I'll keep you posted. All right. <laughs> We are here to set an academic standard of excellence and performance. Any students that comes out from this school should be the best in his neighborhood. The best doctors, the best engineers in this state. We'll try our best to make it work. But you must play your role as students. Good morning, madam. Hello, good morning. How are you? I'm aware of I have an appointment uh, with the management. The, the principal knows that I'm coming, so you're just going to open the gate, okay? What do you have in your talk? Absolutely nothing. Just uh, my, my some of my products. Uh, the principal asked me to come with them. Madam, you can't come into our company with this car. Why? For you, do I? Look, young man. You can come and check my trunk. There is absolutely nothing suspicious about my car. Okay? Madam, you cannot come into a company with this car. Should I open this small gate for you? That's why you go and tell the principal that someone is at the gate. He's on the assembly ground now. Man. Okay. I'll just wait for him to finish. Whatever. Simba, I can hear you. Rose, listen up. Change your plan. Going without the car, the security man is not going to let you in. Do you understand me? Go meet him. Tell him your goods are outside. Convince him to come see them. Do you understand me? I can hear you. All right. Okay. Madam, you have to go through the small gate. You cannot come with this car into our compound. Okay, no problem. Very well, very well, no problem. I'll go with you now. Wait, I have to screen you. Madam, what do you have in there? My bra button, you idiot, can't you see? You can't come into this compound. Why? For security purposes, there is neither a video camera or an audio chip in there. Madam, you have to be here or I call the police. So fast.
No problem. That woman there needs to be thoroughly sad before she comes into this compound. That woman? Yes, sir. Bring her here. Madam. Good day, officers. Yes, madam, who are you? My name is Rose. I'm here to see the principal. I have an appointment with the principal and this idiot don't want to take me to see the principal. What do you have in your car? Some of my products, the principal asked me to come with them. What do you say? What's your product? Just materials for, you know, school uniforms for the, for the children. Serge. Sir. Search the car. Sure, sir. You can come and search if you like. Tell me, woman. See, there is nothing in my car. I don't know what is wrong with this. Let's check the hood. There is nothing. See? There's nothing in the car, sir. Nothing in the car? Nothing incriminating in the car, sir. All right, sir. Open the gate, let her drive. See? What? Don't worry, the police is here. We're here I don't to help like you. embarrassment. Madam, 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 it's okay. The police is here, it's okay. It's okay. Madam, enter your car. We're here. All right, open. Think about it, was No mistakes. Take your ground together. Ah! What, what's going on here? Shh! 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 What? What? Come on, listen up. What? Listen up. We're not here to harm anyone. So you don't try to play a hero. If you stay calm and cooperate with us, you stand the chance of going through the situation alive. Do you understand me? Quiet! But if you try playing a hero, you should be dead in a minute. Face down, I'm watching you. Stay down! Remember, stand a chance of going through the situation of life if you stay calm. Quiet! Stay down! Quiet! All right, slowly, on your feet. In a single fire. You, hey, 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 you, 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 come back. In a single fire, go, 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 go. In a single fire, all of you. Hey, you, come here, come the fuck here. Come the fuck here. Hey! 
Then just move. Wait. Go, go, go. Go, go. Go, go, go. Get it. Wait. Is not possible. I didn't do it with your security in place. No, 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 no. This is no good news. Is this necessary? What's the problem? I'm by the state international school. I just been attacked by kidnappers. What? At the middle of all the students and their teachers. How can? How are they able to beat all the security outfits mounted on the school? That is the question. This is really bad. Very, very bad. Come to the your police. Now, okay, sir. I want to talk to you personally. Sit <laughs> Yes, drop, drop. Okay. I'm feeling that myself. Yes. Oh, oh. Oh, that's very really good. Oh, that is very really good. They have got in the signal. The escape is made after the kidnappers. Yes, boss. 
Boss, I have good news for you. What is the news? Just listen, boss. Listen. I can hear noise at the background. Eh? Noise can be anything. Tell me what I want to hear. All right, listen, boss. The almighty Abali International School has been shut down by me and my men. And the entire students are right here with me in the land of the unknown. <laughs> <laughs> I told you I was going to do it, boss. We're right here in the middle of nowhere and we're celebrating our victory. I told you I would do it, boss. <laughs> yes, boss. I'll keep in touch with you. I'll keep in touch. Yeah. Let the celebration continue. Yes. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I it. I love it. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Damn. Jerry! <laughs> Jerry! Yes, boss. Yes! Yes! I am celebrating my victory today! I've made it! I've made it! Wow. Look, Jerry, go and book a nice hotel. Arrange beautiful looking sweet girls. A good musician to entertain me and my friends. Look, look, fair cook, to prepare good food, a lot of meat. Ochendo, Ochendo is a problem. Yes. All I know, all I know. Today is my day. <laughs> yes. <Woo>! Yes. <laughs> Yes, Your Excellency, Obanye, Obanye, bro. Hideout. Over. I repeat, sir. We have patrolled all the look and cranny of this environment. We could not trace their hideout. Over. Confirm info gathered. Over. Oh, simply what did they have they found the rascals? Sir, they have searched all the suspected. There seem to be no trace of them, oh. sir. Mr. Commissioner. But we put our hands and allow our children to be killed by those criminals? This is beyond the police force. Yes, this is beyond the police force. I think at this point, all of us should be involved. We should be involved. We have the vision of labor, Mr. Commissioner. It has been entrusted upon you to secure lives of properties in this state. Exactly. You want to give up your constitutional uh, right? uh, uh, police. Some, How can you tell us that your voice cannot find those trackers? This is the time to think. Oh. Tell me. Bro, as a leader of a police case, and on behalf of my people, we say this is totally unacceptable to us. Your boy must find those children and bring them home alive. Exactly. But how did those people gain entrance into that school? Well, how did they beat the security? That is one person that we need to find out. I mean, with all the intelligence everywhere, with all the security we have. Oh, oh my enemies are hard work. Yes, my political enemies did this. And they have hit me at the most delicate part. And my state international school is our pride. Oh, we cannot allow this to happen. Never! Our children. Hmm. We withdrew our children from schools abroad 
back to Nigeria because of brotherhood and patriotism. Because we wanted to be practicing what we are preaching. Now, now, now this. I think I have to inform the president. Yeah, yeah, yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That was what I was expecting the honorable senator here to do. Rather than apportioning bread to, to, to the police force. I have to remind you of your responsibilities, Mr. Commissioner. You have to make us go out there and look for those children, our children. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Enough of all this ranting. This is not the time for this. This is our day! Yeah. Taking over the senior scenario. Taking over the territory. Mr. Django. Yeah. Place the call. No, not yet. Why do you think so? We need to create a situation of hopelessness. So that once there is a small glimpse of hope, they will appreciate it. Mr. Django. Yes, Fimba. Good work, bro. <laughs> Good work, bro. For now, I am in charge of Abali State. It's sir. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Your police at once. Exactly. And, oh, that's not a good idea. The president ought to do that, not me. I don't want to jump into this. Sir, the situation we are facing does not seek a protocol. Oh, yes. My only son. Yes. Your daughter, sir. Your daughter. Uh, they are involved. We must not wait for the president to respond to our call before we take action. Yes, sir. Your Excellency, sir. Maybe you should call the IG. Yes, sir. Yes. Have his number. Oh, it's okay. Let me put a call across to him. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, good. Uh, hello, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, sir, please hold on for His Excellency, the Executive Governor of our United States. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I did. See you, Chumdo, here, the Executive Governor of our United States. We have a situation on our hand right now. Yes, uh, our whole state, 
Chapter School, where children of prominent people of this state school have been attacked by terrorists and kidnappers. Yes, they made the way students and uh, their teachers. Principal, all of them, all of them. Yes, he's still here with me. Okay, we want to speak. Sir. Hello, sir. Oh, yes, sir. My men have searched for all of them, sir. Sir, all the suspects are ruled. We've combed everywhere, sir. We've combed everywhere, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, sir. I'll do just that, sir. I'll do just that. Thank you very much, sir. What did he say? He says we should intensify the search. Ah, well, that's almost like that. Don't intensify. What is the implications? Let's be hopeful, sir. Let's be hopeful. Huh? Um, and gentlemen and ladies, I have to run along now. I have one or two things to oversee myself. Hi, sir. Commissioner of Police Samuel. Look, listen. Tell your men to go, 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 go everywhere under the sun and bring our children back. Or else. Commissioner, you are so annoying. You are very, very annoying. I'm telling you. So, sir. Well, why? Why? Ah, our children are involved. They should get everything to set them free. Let the IG give us a little time. Chill, chill, chill. Please. No, the IG cannot take any action unless there is a stop from the first day. Before I walk on in the building once again, you know how to listen to I told y'all I'm the most of us in the country, right? I'm about to prove it one more time, you know what I mean? Exactly, man. You should boil your set on the plate, you know? I'm going in on this, let me get it. All right, yeah. Okay, hey, hey. I'm out with every weapon. When you're leaving, I'm out with every weapon. When you're leaving, I'm out with every weapon. When you're leaving, I'm out with every weapon. 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 I have to make sure I practice exactly what I am preaching. Let us all bring our children, make our Nigerian schools to be fine. Let our children attend the normal school that everybody attend. Ah, my husband will kill me. Ah, my son. Mm. Is this necessary? Your wife is insisting on coming to see you. 
I told you to ask her to go. I don't want to see her now. Sit down here printing change. Best of education, best of security, best of this, best of that. And my children are living and schooling abroad. No, I have to set good example. That's why I brought them home. So I'm not regretting my action at all. Oh, Jendo, you are not regretting your actions. You are not regretting it. My children are not going to be found, and yet you're not regretting your actions. Oh, Jendo, give me my. Give me my children, Take her out of here now. Give me my children. Ah. Take her out of this place now. Take her out. What is he thinking? Let him give me my children now. He can go ahead whatever he's thinking. Let him give me my children. Ah. <laughs> Why are they doing this? They are the anti state. They are the bad designers. Are they going to kill us? No. They just want to do what they want. So they release us. Is my daddy going to do what I ask of him? That I can do. It's just necessary. It's four o'clock in the morning. Oh. Has the commissioner of police found them yet? Not yet, sir. Oh. But, sir, I think you need rest. You need some time out of this office. Let's take it to somewhere safe for you to rest, sir. How can I rest when I have freed my people? I don't deserve any rest. My people voted for me. They trusted me. I promised them quality education. Good security. 
I convinced them to bring their children home from abroad to come to school here. Now see what has happened. I didn't keep up my campaign promise. Hmm. Yes, sir. I think you're still interested. Tomorrow is another day. I'm a disappointment. Pictures are just excellent. Mm. Yeah. yeah. How was the monitoring last night? Calmness. Everywhere was calm. Good. I'm not sure of that. You're not expecting anything now, are you? Well, you never can tell. You see, Django, if we escape them, these guys will play it on them. It's going to take them nothing less than 48 hours to find us. So chill, bro. Okay, Django, Fimba, what's our next plan? The next line of action. We'll open up communications with the state this morning. They are actually on their way right now. A hundred foot soldiers. Oh, good, good. Ah, they need to put it. No, they are higher. By helicopter. They are going to use two helicopters to fly over some suspected regions. That way we can easily look in them. They ought to be here by now. We don't have time. We need to locate those children and know the fate of our children. Oh, yes. They are coming by. Huh? Thank you. Coming by you. You need to just stay here now that they're coming in a helicopter. Oh, let me explain. You see, the helicopter will be used for such a rescue, not as a means to transport them down here. I want to see the friend. They should all get a helicopter and fly you with it together. Please, let's be patient. This is Federal Ops. Patient. They are professionals, they know how to do it. So are those guys coming back? Yes. 
at least they call now. At least this damn call now. Django placed this call now. Because he's the governor's daughter. So this guy is coming back. Django placed this call now. Gives me the governor's daughter. Where is the governor's daughter? Where is the governor's daughter? Oh, you guys don't want to talk, huh? You. Come here. Come the fuck here. Come here. Come here. Quiet! 
If you don't tell me where the governor's daughter is, I will shoot you in the head and you'll be dead in a minute. Where is the governor's daughter? <laughs> 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 Yes, but we need signal here. Send that of the major. Sir, I think you need this call. Who is he? The leader of the grandstands that command the students. Hello. Governor John Dramila. Yes. Let him put it on speakers. Yes, my name is Django. As I speak to you, I have my gun pointed at your daughter's head. <laughs> you can hear her voice. Now, let me tell you. I want you to see everything that is happening in this camp. So I'm going to send you a live streaming link. You will download the link and watch me live on your system. Now, before I do that, you must withdraw those military idiots that you have sent against. 
existence. If I sense any foul play, Mr. Governor, then I'm going to kill your daughter, your son, the students, all the teachers and the principal. They're all going to die. So, if you kindly withdraw your military men, we're going to have peace. If you don't, then everybody goes down. And I'm going to face your military men. I have the men and I have the material to do that. Can you hear me, Mr. Governor? Fine and good. Don't harm any of the students. I am very much ready to listen to you. I will call back the major now. You will not see any foul play from them. Let me warn you. Don't try to deceive me. Because you cannot do that. I have my cameras all around this camp. If one single ant or insect moves, everybody dies. You hear me? I am not deceiving you. I give you my words. I am going to call the major now. All I want to know is why you are doing this and what is your demand? That is very much important to me right now. I'm going to send you the live streaming link now. Download it so you can watch me live on your laptop. What do we do now? Uh, first thing first, I suggest you call the major, tell him and his boys to stand down. Let them come back. You are saying that the Ah, why, 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 why must you tell them to, 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 to calm down? No, no, no. Did you hear what he said on the phone? You want to commit manslaughter? Or you want your child to die? I, 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 don't, I don't trust you. I don't trust this man. I don't trust them. I don't trust them. But I think Senator Ibe is right. Please call the major back. I am very sure these people will definitely ask for a ransom. If they wanted to kill these children, why did they have to carry the children from the school to their camp? They would have killed the children in the school when they went there. Please let us not put this into too far. You need to call that major back, sir. I only have one son and I'm not ready to miss that my one son. You have to call the major back, sir. I think you're right. Uh, call the major for me. Yes, sir. He has the last one. Oh, good. But first of all, call the major. And download the link in the system. Uh, we need to see exactly what's going on there. I have all the captains here with me. And the principal of the school can attest to that. I told you that nothing will happen to any one of them if you cooperate with us and ask the military men to withdraw. Now I'm going to begin to kill them one by one by the hour. Beginning from now. Please, go. Oh. 
I will call you when I want to. Not that camera. Oh. 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 I don't know. I don't know. Oh. 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 Chief, they are in their need of our demands now. Are you sure these soldiers have been made to retreat? Yes, very sure about that. He cannot afford to toy with the lives of his children and the children of all those prominent people in the state. Good. That's good, good, good. So, boss. What exactly should I tell him? Tell him to resign and hand over to the rightful winner of the rigged election. <laughs> what? You have to make sure that everything is safe. No finger is pointed at me. Your Excellency, Jan. This is Jan. And you know I am master of this game. <laughs> <laughs> I will take this drink now. <laughs> Your Excellency. Mm. 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 We are the concerned citizens of this state. The country. Got to all went out on election day to vote our choice. You people influence and rigged the elections and imposed their choice on the people of this state. Your choice is not the choice of the man. And we, as concerned citizens of the state, we have decided to stand and speak. The of the we want our choice in power. Resign from that seat in good faith and know the results of the last electoral elections and declare Chief Obai as the rightful winner of the elections. And we must handle them to him immediately. Then, and only then are we going to release the captives in our master. And we have 48 hours to do all this. 48 hours. If you fail to meet our demands after 48 hours, each of those captives will go down one by one by the hour. If you fail to meet our demands, after 48 hours, each of the Catholics will go down one by one by the hour until the very last one is dropped. The count starts now. Get out of the place. Madness. This is insane! I am going after that idiot! Mr. Banyan should be arrested immediately! Yes! How is that the solution to this problem? This is a very urgent matter and the lives of our children are taken! Oh, by the time we apprehend him and torture him badly, he will call these rascals to cease fire! Yes! That sounds stupid to me. Supposing he does not have a hand in all these all this, all this places. Oh, huh? nobody else. What's have masterminded all this? Mr. Bayer is the brain behind all this. He should be brought to book. Yes, he should be brought to book to answer to all this. And if he does not? I don't get that. If he does not? If he says uh, well, he cannot call them to order because he has nothing to do with the kidnapping, what will you, 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 CP? Look, Mr. Speaker is right. Mr. Bayer is not our problem. First, he will deny he has anything to do with the kidnap. We don't have any concrete evidence against him. Remember, those rascals, they said they are concerned citizens. 
Secondly, if he happens to be a mastermind behind this crime and they discover that the police have arrested him, they will kill the captives in their custody. This is not the best way to go about it. Oh, okay, 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 fine. Now, what is the best way towards this? I, the time is kicking. What do you do now? What do you do now is what you're asking. Yes. What is wrong with the governor doing exactly what they're asking him to do? What? Resigning from the office. Is it my first to be governor? I only have one son. And I want my son. Commissioner. Don't commissioner me. <sighs> With all due respect, right now, what should be paramount on our mind should be the welfare of our children. Mm -hmm. The lives of our children are at stake, sir. I think at this point in time, being patriotic should be giving in to the demands of these boys, sir. I mean, for, for the sake of the lives of our children. No, I shall do no such thing. True leadership entails being courageous in the face of adversity. And when really at the end, if I drop back now and give it to those hoodlums their demand, that I am nothing but a coward and therefore not fit to be a leader. Sir, and if our children lose their lives in the process, nothing can make me give in to cowardice. Nothing. Excellency, that is not bravery. That is not bravery at all, but selfishness. Mm -hmm. I don't understand how you will be insisting on holding on to power and pursuing your own political career at the detriment of the lives of our children. <laughs> Sir, I see that as wickedness. It's just wickedness. It's running away from challenges. It's your own definition of wisdom and patriotism that you are not fit to be a leader. Cowardice, as far as I know, is not one of the attributes of a leader. Madam Commissioner, I urge you to speak no more. I urge you to speak no further. His Excellency, at this point, has the right to choose whatever to do. It is legal right. Legal right? You talk of legal right at this point in time. What is legal right going to do? Do you know that the life of children are at stake? Madam. We are all out here to figure out the best approach to this problem. The governor stepping aside for anybody who is totally out of it. Yes? You better find that solution because the time is ticking up. We all know that. CP, do something. Do something. Speaker, we are working. We are working, Speaker. Urgently. What? What stupid leadership skills is he talking about? No. No! Then I'll be in the governor's office shortly. Jacob. You'll be taking me to the governor's office in the next 10 minutes. Leave me alone. Open the door. Leave me alone. I can't remember having an appointment with you, woman. I do not need an appointment to see my husband. This is government house, not my private home. And here, I represent the first citizen of this state, not the husband. I have come to represent the masses of this state. 
My dear husband, if the abductor says you should resign, please do so. Please, my dear, do this and be the hero of love. Take a heart of you. The first thing I should send the right to Madam Commissioner, leave my office now. Yes, sir. I want my phone. Don't stop saying. Ochendi, why are you being this selfish? Why are you being so unpatriotic? Please save the state. Save our children. Please. <laughs> Hello, Django. The time is five o'clock. I am yet to hear news from the government house. Look, in politics, nothing is impossible. Want only me. They didn't know that we run the entire citizens of this state. Reading <laughs> window is the order of today's politics. But you see, when the masses outrightly make a choice, yes, not even reading can make it stick. Yes, they will not stick up. Yes, <laughs> yes, that is just that is just what is happening now. Look. Mm. The masses have refused to come down. That is it. That is it. Because they, need they want their peasants. They want their peasants. They want their peasants. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. It's fun. Come on, you're my man. They need you, Papa. CP, time to think of it. Um. You thought I have lost out completely. <laughs> that was why you left me to join them. No way. I cannot leave you. For the government, that's all. Oh, you blame me for working for the government. Are you sure? Oh, yes. That's my brother. You know, I, I, I didn't necessarily come here. He stepped out. But I, I didn't send him to anywhere. Search for him. Yeah. Lisa! 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 
Mr. Obaya, you've been captured. You have to remain silent. Yes. Your security man, your PA, your chef, and all your phones are all in my custody. Nobody. Nobody knows where you are right now. You cannot make any calls. Take him away. You son of a bitch. You little bastard. You little bastard. You let me tell you. Have you not know him? Come here. Obaya. You are a nobody. You are a nobody. You are calling me racist with Obaya and Godfrey. Eh? What are you coming for that? You are dealing with fire. Obaya. You are a nobody. Take him to the car. Twelve hours gone already. Twelve hours. What am I supposed to do? Resign? No. <laughs> I must face this challenge. It is not in my character to run away from challenges. No, never. Is that yes, sir? I think I have a solution. You do? Yes, sir. So why have you been keeping it to yourself? I'm sorry, sir. Come on, tell me all about it. Come closer. Sir. Yes? Back then in school, I used to be a hitman. Mm. We knew the strong men. Django is one of the strong men. But there is this man that has always been the strongest. Mm. And I believe he will beat Django's strength. Who is this man and where is he right now? His name is Eriko and he's serving a lifetime jail team in this good prison. I believe he will bring back all the students alive. Obanya. Nobody knows you're here except me. Your PE, your security man and your chef. I wasted them all. Do you know why? I don't want anybody to know I was with you last night. All your phones are off and in my custody. What do you want from me? Can I please do this my own way? And what is your way? The clock is ticking, sir. Don't ask me about it. I am the commissioner of police in this state. The protection of life and properties lie in my hands, sir. I think this move will be result oriented. I am the chief security officer of this state. If you must do anything, you must tell me about it first. It's okay, sir. If this must succeed, then it must be known by no other except me. All I need, sir, is your total cooperation. All I need is your support. All I need is for you to trust me, sir. Can you trust me, sir? I want to watch you die. I want you dead and nothing else. If you think, I'll ask you to call back those rascals to cease fire and release the children. Then you lie. Yes, you lie. You know why? If I do, they will know the state has you. But even the state does not know that I am here with you. It is strictly 
the both of us. CP, you are playing with fire. You are playing with Obanye. Obanye wall. Obanye, you are a dead man. You are a dead man, Obanye. Yes, your death is as close as the hit on the trigger. And nobody, nobody will know about it. After all, all they will know is that you disappeared into the air. You, your PE, your security and your chef. Obanye put down. Put down. Who do you know? Nobody. Nobody will know your whereabouts, Obanya. Put down your ego. Come in and sit down. Sit down, gentlemen. I am not a gentleman. Okay. Sit down, Mr. Eriko. My name is Eriko. <sighs> sit down, Mr. Eriko. Tea or coffee, which do I offer? I am not thirsty. What am I doing here? Well, Eriko, <clears throat> evening, Joe. It is no longer news that the state has been besieged by some men of the underworld. As we speak, Eriko, we have less than 30 hours to salvage the state from a major manslaughter that is threatening the state at the face. The state needs you to go on a rescue mission. We know you can do that for us. And why should I do that? Oh, very simple. Very, very simple. The governor will grant you a state pardon. He will also give you one billion naira to do any business of your choice. Any business of your choice. With that, there will be no more jail time. No more luck. No more working for anybody. We're offering you a life. Think about it. With the little time available, 
I think you will be able to achieve all this for us. Call Django on phone. His Excellency, sir, please can you connect me to Django? When he picks, what do I tell him? When he picks, you give me the phone. I'll do the talking. He's not picking. That's number again. All right. <laughs> Lisa, can you redial the number? Django, my name is Eriko, and I am the king of this jungle. No one messes around my territory. The battle line is drawn. I'm coming for you. Very cool. What have you done? Don't you think that will make him kill the children? Shh. If you want me to save your children, I call the shots. No one else.
please let me talk to my boys. I am no longer interested in being the governor of the state. But promise me you won't put me in jail. I will have them release the children. Too late. Too late, Mr. Obanya. What do you want from me? Fell me, CP. What do you want from me? I want to see you suffer. Obanya, I want to see you suffer and die. That is what I want. I am ready to offer you three billion naira. Obaya, I will not take three billion dollars from you. All I want is to see you die. I want to see your ugly head go down, Obaya. That is what I want. This is the Labista Forest where we found them. We flew from here up to this point and we found their camp here. The captives are with them. Good. Enrico, are you sure the captives will still be alive? Don't you think? Django could have killed them after he made a call. Strong men don't run away from challenges. They look at challenges in the face, eyeball to eyeball, and say to it, Hey, I'm coming for you. It's 7 p.m. already, and, and nothing yet. <sighs> Madam, Madam, can you be positive for once? I just hope this measure works out. I just, I don't know. I pray. Honestly, I, I don't understand. Eh, I don't understand. Instead of us giving in to the demands of those rascals, we decided to go and bring another rascal, the one that is on another level. Heartless without human sympathy. One who doesn't even know what it is like to lose someone you love. In fact, one that has nothing to lose at all. Madam Commissioner, don't let me walk you out of this office for the second time. Because if I do... <laughs> Excellency, I was just trying to... I don't need your opinion anymore.
Django. Yeah. Everything is ready. The boys are waiting for your command. <laughs> That's going to be a change of plan. I want us to get going first thing in the morning. I'll tell you why. Get everything? Yes, boss. Everything. The bags of rice, yam, beans, bags of sachet water. Boss, everything. All right. Guys, go back to your station, all right? Yes, boss. Be on the alert. Derek and his men are on their way here. Yes, boss. Any cricket moves, you shoot. You must leave this calm successfully tonight. Yes, boss. Good. Where are you guys now? Come on, hurry up. We're waiting by the shore. You guys better hurry up. All right, just hurry. What's the treasure? They're coming. Why are they spending so much time? I don't know. They should have been here by now. Boss is here. Hey, I've, I've heard the truck. Ah! The truck, the truck, the truck. Move them in. Quick, quick, quick. This. What was that? Shh. Don't go. To the boat. Move. Go, go, go. To the ship. Go. Let me check it out.
Oi, o bom Cecir. I've the trap! The trap! The trap! The trap! Move that main! Quick! 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 This... <laughs> what was that? Shh! Don't go! To the pole! Move! Go, go, go. To the ship! Let me check it up. Rico. This is for my twin brother. Now may his soul will rest in peace. to take you home. So be still. Who are you? And how did you get here? You. Can you drive this bus? Yes, I can. Take this bus and everybody inside back to the camp. I can trace road. Listen to me. Just drive this bus out of this place. Take it to somewhere safe. Okay? Yes. Now move. Move, move, move. <laughs>
Mission accomplished.
You don't have to cry. You are doing this for your salvation. You have done very well. Breaking news. The Abali City Mall has just been bombed. The details of the explosion will be brought to you shortly. Stay tuned. What is the problem? It seems like there's explosion somewhere in town and there is smoke everywhere. The bomb blast? Yeah. There's so smoke everywhere. Smoke? Yes. Now the news in details. The people were thrown agog at about 9.45 a.m. when there was a heavy explosion at the urban city. The explosion left over 55 persons dead and scores of victims injured. Our correspondents are yet to ascertain the cause of the explosion as security operatives have swung into action to bring whoever that is behind this nefarious act to Excellency. Yes, Sergeant. Yeah. Sergeant has befallen the state. Willie, really, I know. With my children. My children! <laughs> What's wrong with us? They told me this morning they'll be visiting the mall. Now, I'll be calling their lies. None of them is speaking. I'm worried, Willie. Really. I'm worried. I'll just go. Please, do I please do. <laughs> Hello, sir. Sir, so where are you? Okay. You have strict instructions to remain there. Don't allow the governor's daughter to leave the house. Yes, yes, please. Don't leave. Don't get your eyes off her, okay? I'll send more personnel. Okay, thank you. All right. Thanks. Talk to you later. Bye, sir. Linda. Linda. What is it? I am here. The people in the mall were thrown a call at about 9.45 a.m. when there was a heavy explosion at Abari City Mall. The explosion left over 90 persons dead and the scores of victims injured. Our correspondents are here to ascertain the cause of the explosion as security operatives have sworn into action to bring to book every person involved in these nefarious activities. The details of the explosion will be brought to you shortly as you stay with them. Your Excellency, uh, wait, 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 they are good. They are good. Oh, so, so why are they not picking their goods? Uh, I don't have any idea, sir. Okay, Willie, you know what to do for me now? Deploy more security men to the house. I want them to look after those children. Make sure those children, none of them leave the room or even the compound at all for any reason. Please, right away, sir. All right, thank you. <sighs>
Tell the CSO to get the convoy ready. We'll be visiting the hospital to condole with the victims of the explosion. Your Excellency. Yes, Willie, what is it? I don't think you should make such a move at this time. Why? Because a press briefing will speak more volume at this time. Because of security reasons. But Willie, it is my duty as the governor to visit these people so that they will know that the state is concerned. Your Excellency. Yes? I think the press briefing will speak more volume. Ha, ma, big big girl. Why are you guys not here yet? The party's about to go down, and my friends here are worried about your absence. Seriously. Abalimo has just been bombed. I can't come out. My father has given us strict instructions not to leave the house. Please. The explosion is not going to ruin my birthday phone. Babe, come on, we we'll planned this together. Why are you giving me all these flimsy excuses? Ma, please, no. Okay, what do you expect me to do? Disobey my father. I can't do it. You know I can't do that. Please now, but I... please. So Ma Ma I need to be this girl's birthday party. I don't know what she's saying. She says she's not going to come for my birthday. And if she doesn't come for my birthday, I swear I'm going to break up the relationship between us. Hey, hey, no, no, Kisho. Be relaxed, calm down. Don't let this ruin your mood. You just go upstairs, change your clothes. Okay? Sandra, we have no, we have guests. Just change, go and change your clothes. Sandra, you don't understand. Stella cannot afford to miss my birthday. Come on, she's my best friend. Oh, she's your best friend. So what am I? You're my friend, but come on. I'm your friend. She's your best friend. <laughs> Are you serious? Wait, no, no, no. My good people of Amali State, it is with every heart that I'm making this broadcast. I want to use this medium to sympathize with those involved in the explosion. However, I want to promise you all that those perpetrators of this ungodly act will not go unpunished. Those behind are trying to tarnish the good image.
There's nothing good about the women of our beautiful state. I'm sure you are aware of what happened to us today. The explosion at the shopping mall. So I'm going to do this now. The spell of the mall. M M A. Well, for some reason, uh, I'm supposed to be there, but I uh, don't visit the victim. For some reason, I'm not going to be there. And I have selected three of you to extend the state, to take our condolences to the victim. So Let them know that the state is to be sorry of what happened to them, and that we are going to foot the bill of everybody there. We really here we make arrangements for your movement from here to the hospital and back. So please, I want you all to present us very well. It's all right, Your Excellency. We do just that. Thank you very much. Willie. Thank you, Your Excellency. Thank you, Your Excellency. Thank you, Your Excellency.
of this nonsense, Willie. Really. What is the meaning of this? I gave a strict instruction that my daughter should not leave the house for any reason. Why, Willie? Really? Why? That I tried to I I keep quiet, Willie. Really. Keep quiet. Eh? Why, would, why would you allow this to happen? Eh? What's up? You sounded so disturbed on phone. What happened? We're leaving Fabali State right now. The IG just called that some group of terrorists are holding the state on rampage. That means we're leaving right now. So, what's in it for us? See, you won't believe it. We have a blank check from the governor. A blank check? A blank check from the governor. See, this is what we have been waiting for. This is what we cannot get in a millennium. So right now, there is no time to waste. We are moving right away. There's no time to waste. Let's go. Let's go. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, please. If I may ask a question, please. What are we doing here? Because I'm confused. I don't know. I'm confused. Please. What are we doing here? Please, I beg. No! This nonsense must stop. Just because I choose to live by example? Is that why these hoodlums have to seize the opportunity to insult me at my office? No. Your Excellency, calm down. Please. Uh, uh, we can. We need to get a better way around this situation, Your Excellency. No! Don't tell me to take it easy. Now, name one governor, or even one senator, who allows his children to school in this country. No! Because of this nonsense. No, I agree, I agree. Even you, my co-commissioner, I know that your family are living abroad. Oh. Yes! And you too! They are all living abroad! Yes. Why?
All right, gentlemen. This is where you stay for now. In case you need anything, don't hesitate to call the commander. Or is there anything you need right now? No, no, we're okay. No, no, okay then. So you rest yourself. First, it was over here. Now, this. Exactly, Your Excellency. The question now is who is up against the state this time? Your Excellency. Yes, please. We will have a mail. A mail? And it's um, for your eyes only. For my eyes only? My name is Akim, and I don't believe in talking too much. Walk beside me, because I should negotiate with this stupid, disgruntled, and outrageous administration who promised and played. I warned there we go, but he wouldn't listen. Just because he was desperate for the meaning of papers. Gone already. Twelve hours. What am I supposed to do? Resign? No, no, no. <laughs> I must face this challenge. It is not in my character to run away from challenges. No, never. Django is one of the strong men, but there is this man that has always been the strongest. Mm. And I believe he will beat Django's strength. Who is this man and where is he right now? His name is Eriko and he's serving a lifetime jail team in the state prison. I believe he will bring back all the students alive. What am I doing here? Well, Eriko. <clears throat> Evening, Joe. It is no longer news that the state has been besieged by some men of the underworld. As we speak, Eriko, we have less than 30 hours to salvage the state from a major manslaughter that is threatening the state at the face. The state needs you to go on a rescue mission. We know you can do that for us. And why should I do that? Oh, very simple. Very, very simple. The governor will grant you a state pardon. He will also give you one billion naira to do any business of your choice. Any business of your choice. With that, there will be no more jail time, no more luck, no more working for anybody. We're offering you a life. Think about it.
<sighs> With the little time available, I think you will be able to achieve all this for us. Call Django on phone. His Excellency, sir, please can you connect me to Django? When he picks, what do I tell him? When he picks, you give me the phone. How do they talk? He's not picking. That's not my game. All right. <clears throat> Lisa, can you redial the number? Django, my name is Eriko, and I am the king of this jungle. No one messes around my territory. The battle line is drawn. Coming for you. Eriko, what have you done? Don't you think that will make him kill the children? Shh. If you want me to save your children, I call the shots. No one else. Listen to me. Just drive this boss out of this place. Take it to somewhere safe. Okay? Yes. Now move! <laughs> move, move, move. <laughs>
It's over, Django. Just give it up. Uh-uh. You wouldn't want this to end like this, would you? Just give it up. Step back. Step back! You! Turn around! Face down! Good morning, Your Excellency. Hello, oh, Willie. Yes. Um, what is it you told me about the discussion? Um, okay, okay. Sit down first. Sit down. Sir? Sit down. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. <coughs> so, Willie, what point are you trying to make here? I don't understand you. Your Excellency. Yes? I suggest you decline his demands. Send him back to prison. That is where he belongs. A criminal like him can never turn a new leaf. But, Willie, we are talking of the same boy that saved the state from the evil hand of Obaye and his uh, plot. Your Excellency, this young man we are talking about here has a very bad record. I have read his files. And you have done no good asking him to travel abroad. But he refused. That means he has a very bad motive for this government. And giving in to all his demands and allowing him to walk the streets freely will make him create more problems than the ones he has already solved. Your Excellency, once a terrorist, Okay, Willie, I've heard it. Just give me some time to think about this, okay? This is no time to apportion blames. I don't think so. No. I think this is a time to fix this situation before it becomes um, a national disaster. It is already a national disaster. Oh, yes. Your yeah, yeah, Excellency, come on. I believe that <clears throat> every criminal has got a price tag. And we need to come on. So that we need to call them back. We need to hear, listen to them, hear what they have to say. It is not in the best interests for the government to negotiate with any terrorists. Willie, hmm. I blame you for what the state is going through right now. So keep your mouth shut. Cash. 
Then get every coach community papers ready. Releasing from prison. Hello? He must be a joker. Big time. What do these criminals even think of government? No government will subscribe to this. But then, you know, you know, when dealing with criminals of this nature, one has got to tread cautiously. Because these people have many ways of actualizing their demands. One million US dollars. Bingo. <laughs> I just sent a link to you right now. Your Excellency, I, I, I sincerely believe that if it comes down to negotiating with these people, let's do it. And that is what it takes. We must negotiate with them. Negotiate what? How? For the safety of our people. Think about it. These people are terrorists. They are terrorists. Your Excellency. Yes. We have good news. Oh. Uh, what, what is it? The exact location has been decrypted. Oh. Oh. I don't think that is a good news. I mean, any more mistake now, three more lives. I don't want that to happen. SJTF of the IG are on ground. You mean the special joint task force of the Inspector General of Police? Yes, yes. And they're in our state as you speak? Exactly. They came in a few minutes ago. They were okay. the ones that even uh, decrypted the exact location. Oh! That's a, that's a very good development, Your Excellency. That's a good that's one. <laughs> but, wait, 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 wait a minute. Um, come to think of it, who actually invited them? I did. Uh, I spoke to the IG and he promised to send his men. But I don't think that's going to make any difference. Your Excellency, yes. it is definitely going to make a great difference. Yes. Uh,
You know what I'm calling you, right? What have you guys done? Now, talk to me for the very last time. Where is your hideout? The information you guys gave has led to the death of the governor's daughter. Yes! Sir, I think the best thing you have to do for me right now to remedy this situation is to send across to me the next link of the video that he sends to you. I should get to the link. How am I supposed to do that? I don't know. And I don't care to know how you do it. Just do it. Shit! This guy just made a really big fool of us. You've said nothing! Where is your gang out out? I don't have any guns. I think it's a call. Look, you guys. Answer! Put your hands in the air and come out one after the other. I warn you one more time. Put your hands in the air. Come out one after the other. And nobody gets hurt. Now come this way. This way. Where are the hostages? I say, where are the hostages?
these people are looking down on us. We need to send another resounding statement. Natasha. Yes, boss. You have another eight minutes, 45 seconds. Send another explosive message to the government. Excellency, please take it easy, sir. Please calm down, sir. Yes, Your Excellency. The mourning our face cannot make any difference. I think I will have to agree with the pen on this. If it means bargaining with these people, I mean, let us. No, no, no. After all, I've told the governor. Of Thanks, man. Thank you very much for your concern. I think I would like to be left alone now. It's understandable. It's alright, Your Excellency. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Let's get on our way. Thank you, Your Excellency. Now you must have known that this is not a mere game of politics. Time is ticking. The more time you buy, the more updates you receive. I think you have a message. Yeah. Okay. Your Excellency, I think this is the best time for you. Will you shut up and get out of my office? Now! That's it. That's it. <laughs> That's it. You're such a genius. <laughs> Your 
sending the exact location to you right now. Is the governor aware of the latest development? No, he's not. He doesn't need to know. He's still gloomy over the death of his daughter, Linda. You know, the move of capturing the hoodlums will do him a hell of good. Very well then. The state will rejoice by morning. No, 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 not, not by morning. I want it tonight. I want it done tonight. I want the state to rejoice this night. Oh, we, 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 we are on it already. So we are taking this step by step. Commander, by step. this is not the time for step by step. I need this thing nipped in the board tonight. Then consider it done. Hold on. Speaking to action. Hold on, hold on. There. Necessary. Yes. For my own personal update. I believe in you. SSG. Sir. Please get Eriko Immunity's papers ready and the money. Alright, sir. This madness must stop. Yes. Thank you, sir. Thank you. The hoodlums behind the explosion at the Abali City Mall has just been captured. The police invaded their hideout and shot some of the boys and finally captured their leader, who is popularly known as Hakim, and freed the hostages. The governor's daughter, who was shot by the hoodlum, is still alive and has been rushed to the hospital. One of the hostages who was shot by the hoodlums died in the process. Oh, thank God. Oh. Yes, Willie. Willie, you are correct on this. Thank you for your effort. You can count on me. Sir. 